Hello YouTube, it is the Everything Epan here, back at it with another tutorial. Today we are going to be installing Windows Me Build 2394 in VirtualBox. This is part of the Beta 1 series of Windows Me, and this comes after 2380. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Um, there will be four links in the description, one being VirtualBox, one being WinRAR, one being the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO, and the last one being the Windows Me Build 2394 ISO. So we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine here and call it Windows, we'll just call it Windows Me Build 2394. Just leave it as Windows Me for the version. Click Next, and then leave it at 128 megabytes. Click Next, and then go ahead and create your virtual hard drive just leave it at four gigs and then we're gonna to go to settings storage hit the empty ISO here and then find the MS-DOS I just saw it right there MS-DOS 6.22 ISO in your directory click OK and then go ahead and start it so it will then start up the virtual machine here and then what you're going to do here is you're going to type in fdisk and then leave it at choice one click enter leave it at choice one click enter and then leave it at y click enter and then click any key and then now what you need to do is type in format C colon, click enter, then press Y, click enter, and then click enter one more time, and you have now formatted the drive. You need to do that so that Windows Me setup recognizes that uh, partition that you created. Now what we're going to do is change the BIOS state, and we need to change it by typing date, and then we're going to change it to the following date. So type in 10-13 dash 1999 so October 13th 1999 is the bio state if you type date it's gonna say Wednesday 10 13 99 so now you can eject the MS DOS ISO and uh, put in the Windows me ISO which is located in here click open and then we're gonna go to I believe it's R colon or and then we'll type in dir and you should have a win 98 directory but that's just because it was a beta build so do cd win 98 then type dir and it should have all those just type setup and then click enter and you should be good to go to head into the windows me setup and it's going to load up here and it'll say welcome to windows me setup so just go ahead and click next and then agree to the license agreement click next and that's going to ask to enter in the uh, product key so let me go ahead and do that now this will be included with the link in the description to the ISO as well but I'm just going to type it in too then click next and then it choose your C Windows directory click next and it's going to check for installed components and then check for available uh, disk space and then it's gonna give you some setup options here just do typical and click next and then type in any name you want right here click next install the most common components click next and then name your computer whatever you want so I'm just gonna type win me 2394 and then click next then choose your time zone in your country click next and it's gonna to try to create a start of this but you don't need to do that just click cancel then click OK and then click finish and it's going to begin installing the files onto your uh, machine here so let this run for a little bit it's not gonna to take too long so just let that run and it will copy all the files over and all that so I'll be back with you guys once we hit the restart points and 
another part of the setup. Okay, so after it is done installing, you're going to get this message that says setup is now ready to restart your computer. Remove all disks from floppy drives and click OK to restart. So go ahead and click OK, then click restart now. It's going to get ready to run for the first time, it says, and then it's going to do some more setting up of hardware. So just let this sit and it's going to continue going through uh, setup and all that stuff. So I'll be back once we hit another restart point. Okay, so we've hit another restart point. So we're going to go ahead and let it reboot again. And it will say or have the boot screen of Windows Millennium Beta 1 and it's going to go ahead and do some more installing of plug and play devices so uh, then it will come up with these following options here and what we're going to do is we're going to if your mouse is starting to glitch where it's not moving really fast and you start to go outside the box go up to uh, input and disable mouse integration that way you can click in and go wherever you want and then hit the right control to get back to your main machine so it's gonna update the system settings and all that so we're gonna pause again and I'll be back once we hit the uh, log on screen okay so we are on our last restart point here so go ahead and click restart now and it will automatically reboot your machine It will come up to the log on screen. Just click OK. It's going to update system settings and then it will bring you to the desktop. Now there is no audio, of course, um, but that's just because it was a beta build. But there's also, I don't know, oh, it does say there's audio. Well, I guess the startup sound didn't want to, I don't know. But yeah, there is, there's audio. Um, and maybe it will play for you, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, you'll get to the desktop and that means you've successfully installed it. So um, you have, yep, there is audio. So just didn't decide to play. But you've successfully installed Windows Me Build 2394 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Leave your comment ideas down below and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.